Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Ventura TV. I'm Sandra Cpac. On today's show, we are welcoming Marty Brooks. She is the Director of Lending for Women's Economic Ventures here in Ventura County area. Thank you so much, Marty, for joining us and sharing your time. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Very good. I'd like you to tell us a little bit about Women's Economic Ventures and what you're doing during this challenging time for all of us during COVID-19 and how you're making a difference here in Ventura County for so many. Sure. Well, just a little bit of background. So Women's Economic Ventures Weave, we call it, okay. um, was founded by Marsha Bailey in 1991. Um, we are a nonprofit organization that supports entrepreneurs. Now, we, we target female entrepreneurs. That's our target audience, but we serve all entrepreneurs, small businesses okay. uh, in Santa Barbara and Ventura counties. So we have offices in both locations. We've been serving those businesses since 1991, as I said, providing three primary services, and those are training, consulting, and loans, which we have kind of learned over the years are sort of the three pillars or the three legs of the stool to provide a solid foundation for uh, small businesses. So that's kind of who we are. Um, and what we are doing uh, through to help the small businesses through this crisis um, is a lot. Luckily, we got some good experience, mm -hmm. um, luckily and unluckily, over the last few years with the other crises and disasters that our communities have faced that deeply impacted our small business friends and neighbors. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to mobilize pretty quickly when it became evident that this was a, a going to be a crisis of a scale that none of us had ever really experienced before. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so that was great because we kind of had the systems in place and the kind of know-how to to step in immediately and make our resources available to businesses. So okay. do you want me to just kind of launch into the things yeah, that we I, are? I'd like to hear, like, um, I, I understand there there is a lot of help for many of the small businesses here in Ventura um, and how you're helping them stay on their feet through the COVID-19 crisis and then thereafter because many of these small businesses may not survive. So we're concerned about that. Are there loans being given? Are there monies being um, available to them? How is that working out? Yeah, so I'll start with that since that's kind of my wheelhouse. I do sure. run a loan program here for, for Weave. Okay. And so, as I said, we uh, kind of already had the mechanisms in place from last time. So we immediately just sort of made a few tweaks to our okay. documents and questionnaires and things like that. And on March 19th, put the quick response loan program back up again mm -hmm. for our small businesses in the community. In fact, it's the only type of lending that we're doing right now okay. because that's where really the need is. And, and that's our sort of charge is to, mm -hmm. is to really meet the needs of the community. So, so we do have a quick response loan that is available for small businesses in Santa Barbara and Ventura counties. Okay. Our loans go up to $10,000. They are very minimally documented. The eligibility requirements are very simple. So far, we've received over 150 applications from small businesses in our counties. We have approved over 50 loans, which just to give you some context, we normally would not receive 50 applications in an entire year. Sure. So the fact that we, with the same number of people um, and the same resources, really have have received 150 and mm -hmm. processed, approved 50 of them in basically about a five or six week period um, is, we, we feel really good about that, but we are, you know, we're continuing to move through those applications, but um, the, most of those people have received those funds, um, you know, directly into their accounts and those funds have helped them to make their some of their rent payments where they haven't received concessions, maybe even allowed them to keep some of some staff you know, paying some of their staff, certainly paying vendors that they owed money to, to, to your point, just kind of trying to keep them afloat right. and, and hopefully maybe bridge them to some of these other government funded programs that mm -hmm. hopefully will be available to them at some point. But we, as we know, many small businesses find themselves sort of in the back of the line yeah. um, for that funding as we've heard on the news and and is right. truly anecdotally from our perspective is certainly the case and so i think our loans because they are we are right here we are processing them we call them within 24 to 48 hours when we receive the application and even that 
they're just so thrilled to hear from somebody oh, because yeah. in many cases that these makes others, a big they difference that, and, they, and, yeah, so and I, they don't hear anything back for very long time right so. and it's so important for somebody who has a small business that isn't sure where to turn at this point and they want to stay in business they don't want to go under um it's very right. helpful to have somebody as you mentioned uh here in ventura county to make that difference and to bridge that gap for them. What advice can you give some of these small businesses um, about staying uh, afloat, so to speak, and how to continue uh, doing their business and building their business once everything gets back to a somewhat normal level here? Um, yeah, that's such a good question because, you know, Right now we're all still a little bit in crisis mode, but maybe we're starting to see the light at the end here. Sure. And so now businesses are starting to think, well, what is this gonna look like when I am able to reopen my doors? And how am I gonna kind of start over again? Right. We think that there's gonna be another round of sort of capitalization that's required at that point for businesses to re to purchase mm -hmm. inventory, to put, you know, do their marketing, to do those kinds of things. So as far as your question, as far as advice, one mm -hmm. of the things we keep telling our business owners is to really just stay focused on the things that they can do. Okay. Because obviously they've been so, you know, um, overwhelmed, frightened, um, disillusioned, all the things that we all feel right now uncertain, but there are things that they can be doing. And one of the most important things is that they do apply for either through EDD or the SBA for these funds that can that are very very good, either loans, grants, or you know the unemployment money. It's very good money. They should be applying for it. And we've also has technical assistance for free that we do provide to any business, not just a okay. client or anything. Any business that contacts us that is trying to navigate those processes, we provide free technical assistance to them. So I strongly encourage any business owner to apply and if they're struggling contact us and we can help you and point you to an advisor that can get you through that very good we it's also, really, we also, yeah mm -hmm. it's really important that uh those that do not know about your organization they can find you on the website and yes. i would like you to share that with us and any kind of information um that they will find on that website um, I think that would be really, really crucial in helping them. Um, yes, so you so I'll, I'll plug it now. Yep, yeah. and I can plug it later. It's so our website's very is easy. It's weaveonline.org. So w e v online.org. Mm -hmm. um, from that, you also can so it'll it'll take you to sort of our homepage, and we have a very clear sort of COVID resources mm -hmm. tab where there's all kinds of really helpful information, including our hotlines, both in English and in Spanish, because all of our services and programs are available in English and Spanish. Um, and so they can see that, they can read for themselves, or they can also, if they just need to fast track it, call us and receive um, assistance for those things. So I also wanted to mention on that web, on the same website, same page, uh, Weave is doing a weekly, in fact, it just happened this morning, every Wednesday from nine to 11, what we call Weave Works webinars, where we provide sort of topical content for a couple of hours, on e-commerce. So to your question about how do I keep my business going? How do I sort of pivot in this new world that we're living in e-commerce, social media solutions, branding, financial um, sustainability, all kinds of topics. And all of those are it's when, every Wednesday, but are recorded and are available on that website for businesses to go refer to sort of subject, subject matter experts to help them get ideas, you know, about how they get creative and um, get prepared for what's next, which is, you know, reopening, hopefully, right. if they do, as you point out, maybe not Absolutely. everybody will, we hope they will, but, um, but then once they do, what does that look like? How do they do that? And so we want to be there to help support them through that phase. Very good. This. Well, mm -hmm. I, I would like to thank you very much for sharing this information for so many people, so many businesses here in Ventura County that will benefit from that. And uh, we welcome them to take a look at your website to get all that information that will be very important to keeping them in business. Yeah. Uh, again, Marnie Brook, thank you, Director of Lending for Women's Economic Ventures. Um, very helpful information. Thank you so much for sharing so much with us today on our Ventura TV. Thank you so much, Sandra. Very good. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. I'm Sandra Cepak. See you next time. Bye, everyone.